Hi guys, welcome back to Wondershare Recover It, a data recovery program that you can use to retrieve lost files from different storage devices. In this video, we're going to discuss what you can do when some of the files on your system turn into zero byte files. Now, for those who don't know, a zero byte basically means that the file or folder doesn't actually have any data and therefore can't be accessed. If you yourself are seeing zero byte files on your system, make sure to watch this video until the end as we will discuss the different solutions that you can use to restore these files back to normal. Before that though, make sure you press the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any future updates. Now, first and foremost, let's understand what zero byte actually means. Bytes basically represent the size of a file. So a file with zero bytes means either it doesn't contain any information or the information has been corrupted so you can't open the file. Now, apart from regular files, sometimes folders can also start showing zero byte size unexpectedly. And if a hard drive is displaying zero bytes, then it's likely that the file system is corrupted and will usually require you to reformat the hard drive into a more recognized file structure. So what's the reason behind why we get zero byte files? Well, there are different factors that can manipulate the size of a file. For instance, let's say you're trying to move files from one location to another, and all of a sudden, partway through the process, it gets interrupted. In this situation, the incomplete data transfer may cause the file to show as zero bytes in the destination folder. In addition to this, there are some other common reasons behind zero byte file sizes in Windows 10. You could have a virus on your system or have accidentally installed some malicious software. If your drive is showing zero bytes, it could be it could have possibly bad sectors on the hard drive. Unexpected power outages or shutdowns during the middle of a data transfer. Or many times if a storage's partition gets corrupted, and your file is stored in that particular partition, that can cause the problem to occur as well. But regardless of the cause of a zero byte error, if these files are important to you, you can't afford to lose them. So here we're going to bring you the best methods to restore zero byte files in Windows to make them accessible again to you. Now, when files become zero byte for, because of a corrupted file system, you can try using check disk to fix these errors. For users who don't know, CheckDisk is a Windows utility that will automatically diagnose drive errors and repair them. So, if there are multiple files with zero bytes on a single drive, you can use CheckDisk to scan and repair that hard drive for logical errors. Click on the Cortana search box and type CMD, then right click on the first search result and select Run as Administrator. The command prompt window will open on your screen. Here, type check disk forward slash F followed by the drive letter that you want to scan and then click enter. Now, check disk will scan that selected drive and fix any logical errors it finds. Once this process has completed, reboot your system and check if the files are still zero byte or not. If you're dealing with just a single file that has zero byte size, you could just download it again. If the file has been transferred from another storage device and you still have that original copy, then you could just simply reconnect the device to your system and transfer the file in again. This is realistically the easiest way to get a file back, but it's only going to work if you've either downloaded it from the internet or you have access to the original backup. Besides, you can also change the file extension to restore zero byte files. Now this is a slightly complicated method and you should only really follow this one if the previous two solutions haven't worked in your favor. Start by right clicking on the hard drive partition which contains the zero byte files and then click properties. In the properties window, switch to the tools tab and click check. A new dialog box will appear on your screen. Here, select the checkbox that is marked Automatically Fix File System Errors and then click Start. Once the process completes, go back to the File Explorer and open the drive partition, then type found.000 in the address bar and press Enter. Now, type a new file name and extension and save the file in a different location. 
You should now be able to access that file and its contents. But if you're still unable to restore a zero byte files, then you can use Wondershare Recover It to get the job done instead. Recover It is capable of restoring a wide variety of files, including ones which have turned into zero bytes. Recover It will perform a detailed scan on the hard drive and restore the original versions of the file. Now, since Recover It supports many different file formats, it will allow you to recover pretty much all your data within a few clicks. So here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to recover zero byte files using Wondershare Recover It. Start by installing Recover It on your system, then launch the software and choose the location that contains the zero byte files. Click next and Recover It will begin scanning the drive, although this process will take a few minutes to complete. After the scanning process has finished, take a look at the scanned results and choose the files that you want to get back. Then finally click recover in the bottom right corner to restore the selected files back onto your system. So that is everything you need to know about zero byte files and how you can restore their original versions. If you face any issues while implementing these solutions, just leave us a comment down below and we'll get back to you with an appropriate workaround. In case this video has helped you restore a zero byte file though, make sure to press the like and subscribe button to join our rapidly growing community.